What is going on YouTube? Your boy is back and do I have some explaining to do because it has been about two and a half weeks since my last video. Now as you guys know that leading up to those videos, I was always complaining about being nauseous and I was trying to fight through it, fight through it, fight through it to the point about two and a half weeks ago, I shot this clip in bed. Hey everybody, uh, <coughs> it's two o'clock. I haven't filmed in the last two days uh, because I got hella sick. I hurt my back. And then I just came down with like the most crazy sickness. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just relaxing, resting, and uh, hopefully we're back tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Now I kept pushing through that. I kept pushing the next day and the clips that you are about to see are three days after I was dead in bed, like not moving, throwing up six, seven times. Now you're gonna see one of the biggest deadlifts I have ever done in my entire life in this video. But unfortunately, after that, I ended up in the hospital. And I didn't end up in the hospital due to an injury or from any steroid related problems in my personal opinion and the doctor's opinion. After going to the hospital, after getting some tests done, it turned out that I had a stomach ulcer. So anytime I ate, anytime I trained hard, anytime anything basically went in or around my stomach or I had to breathe hard, it would irritate that stomach ulcer and I would start throwing up. That is why I was throwing up six to seven times a day. Now I was throwing up about six to seven times a day every day for the last nine days. Now I am on antibiotics. That is why we are back on to the Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays videos because I don't let anything stop me. You don't understand, guys. The whole point of the video that you're about to watch right now is I wanted to go over one, the heaviest deadlift I've ever done, and two, I wanted to go over the steroid pros, side effects, and cons from the first eight weeks of this cycle. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. So without further ado, I would just like to say that me and a ton of YouTubers are also having this problem, that if YouTube does not like the type of video that you put out, they will permanently disable your comments. It's happening to me, it's happening to Russo, it's even happening to Christian Guzman, now that Christian wanted to be a little more open with his cycle, they'll just permanently delete the comments or not let anyone comment. That was also another reason that it was really hard to put hours and hours into filming, time, editors, money, everything you need to do to make these channels successful just to have YouTube say, no, we don't give a fuck. We don't want people to, to see this. So we're just going to shadow ban you, give you a strike, demonetize your video and disable your comments because you wanted to go over the side effects that you experienced during your life in your steroid cycle when you advocate to others not to do what you do. Without further ado, I'm just going to show you some of the clips that I filmed three and a half weeks ago, and then we're gonna recap right here for the in-depth steroid breakdown of how these first couple weeks really went. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, so I fucked up. I fucked up. It is exactly 24 hours since the previous clip that you saw. I know I said like I was gonna push through it, I was gonna go for it, but I just could not stop throwing up for some reason. It was just over and over and then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, I can't be losing this weight. So then I would try to eat and I would throw it up. I would try to eat, I would throw it up. So I have more or less been sleeping for like the last 24 hours exactly. And I feel fine, like I feel limber. 
I feel good, but my throat's a little fucked up from, uh, from all the puking. So we kind of just pushed everything back 24 hours. So what we're doing now is we just finished work. It's about two o'clock and we are going to deadlift. Now I'm gonna be playing these deadlifts 100% by feel. The goal was to do 775, but given the state that my body's been in, we're just gonna see it like what 675 feels like and then we're either gonna do some volume and taper up because at the end of the day, we still have to compete on April 27th, so there's no excuses to miss deadlifts this week. It's not that deep if you miss like one day, as long as you get it all done in that week. I've already squatted this week, I've already benched this week. It's Friday now, so I can deadlift today and I'll be recovered for bench press on Monday. So what we're gonna do <coughs> is our kind of our pre-workout ritual for deadlifts is BPC-157, we obviously need that for the inflammatory purposes. In my personal opinion, BPC and TB-500 don't help a disc injury. What it does is it reduces the inflammation so it hits less on your sciatic nerve. Therefore, you can train more efficiently, you can do rehab more efficiently, and you can still go on about your day. I do think that this heals like torn muscles, ligaments, tendons, all that, but because a herniated disc is so severe, the only thing that this can really do is relieve the inflammation. Now this is our third meal of the day. We're gonna have the Flavor Daddy steak, potatoes, carrots, and they put like a little bit of sauce in here. Now this is the more on the smaller side of a meal. This is only 500 calories, 470 calories, 42 grams of protein, 36 carbs, 17 grams of fat. <clears throat> Normally I wouldn't eat something that high in fat pre-workout, um, but fuck it today. Like I, I'm more training for strength today than a pump and we're gonna be taking insulin anyways. So it doesn't really matter because we'll be drinking 80 grams of carbs during our workout and we'll get that, that nasty fucking pump. So <clears throat> I like to let this sit for about an hour. I'm basically gonna eat this. Obviously the deadlift ritual, we have to. We gotta fill up some of this Kratom. I w if you own a Kratom company and you can just send me pills, can you please do that? Because every single place in Canada is uh, sold out of the pills. So I have to buy the powder, then buy empty pills on Amazon and scoop all of them up. And to scoop up like six grams of pills is fucking ridiculous. So any of you ravers know exactly how fucking hard this is. Probably do some foam rolling because my back is so stiff from just laying around and sleeping all day yesterday and like the constant puking. So gonna try to get even more limber as I can for 245 pounds at five foot six. And uh, we're headed to the gym. So not too much, yeah, not too much to say about that. I'm gonna be going over all my thoughts of what I thought about the first eight weeks of the cycle, all the side effects, all the pros, all the cons, just so I can be as transparent as possible because I don't think running this much is worth it, to be honest. Like my physique looks better, feels better on lower dosages, but you'll never know until you try, so that's why we're doing this shit. So let's eat and I'll see you for pre-workout, I guess. I got that blow face right now. So anyways, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm hyped up. We're on six grams of Kratom. We're about to take our pre-workout. We're not even buzzing on pre-workout yet. And then I get fucking rear-ended. Fucking rear-ended. But jokes on them is I have a truck. And since we just had to move a trailer a couple days ago, I have a hitch in the back. So the front of their shitty little car fucking destroyed. There is not even a scratch on the back of this truck. Man, and it was, the funny thing is that we were not going fast. We were at a stoplight. And I look in my rear view mirror and I'm like, 
this guy's not stopping. And he's like on his fucking phone. He's not stopping. We're going like four miles per hour and then fucking hits me. And I'm like, bro, that's fucking hilarious. We get out, his car fucking bumpers half falling off. It's all shattered, his little headlights out. Nothing wrong with my car. He's like, are you gonna stay? And I said, stay for what, bro? I'm on the way to the fucking gym. Like, you think I'm gonna stay here for your dumb ass to get your fucking car out of here? Shut the fuck up, it's rush hour traffic I'm not gonna be caught dead with your dumb ass that can't drive so yeah what we're doing right now is we're gonna set this motherfucker up I, I, I'm telling you they test me on deadlift day bro they test me all day today it's like I've been I knocked over my water on the kitchen counter and it spilt over all this paper and then someone rear ends me on the way to the fucking gym it's just absurd oh what the hell Shut up! Look at that! <laughs> oh my god! We haven't seen this girl in fucking ages! I'm actually going home to charge my camera and come back and take pictures. Oh, well, you're not that good looking, chill. If you ever need another friend, I have a friend now. I always need doubles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's your first friend. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so what we are doing is we are taking two scoops of Grillamo base. And like I said, I want it to fucking drop. Derek, what are you, like... I know you don't want it to clump, bro, but we don't need this big of a fucking bag. Jesus. So we're just gonna do two scoops. Dry scoop to the dome. Ah! I'm fucking ready! I said, I... I can't thank you guys enough for, cause now that the, now that Gorilla Mind is like in GNC and in Vitamin Shop, like my commission has got cut in half just because everyone's just going to the store and getting it. So when you guys do buy Gorilla and use my code, like it fucking helps bro. You guys don't understand how much that fucking helps me. I'm gonna go warm up and let's get it. deal. It's fucking PR'd the shit out of deadlifts in so fucking long. And I told you, today wasn't that great of a day. And I got fucking rear-ended and you know, there was no damage. But come to, I'm halfway through training back because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to film the rest of my back day. I'm just going to train light. That 770, that 765 was fucking crazy. And it hyped me the fuck up. I'm like, you know what? Today turned around. Everything's okay. And let's fucking look at this bullshit. So you see all this? You see all this fucking shit here? This is coming from my fucking truck! Yeah. Sick, I don't even know if I can drive home because you can't obviously drive a car without fucking oil. And didn't get the guy's license plate. Didn't get his information. And because there was no damage. <laughs> Fuck my life. Bro. It's something fucking small, but the girlfriend made homemade spaghetti meatballs. Camera's about to die. Not really sure how much meat's there. Not sure how much pasta's there. And I don't really fucking care. So, gonna go charge this camera up, eat this, and who knows? I'm having a bad day. Maybe we're gonna drink tonight. Maybe, maybe. You know, she's already drinking. So, gonna wash my hands first because the fucking gym's disgusting. And I'll see you guys soon. Here in my voice uh, last night was one of the worst nights I have ever experienced on this prep. I don't know what exactly happened. I know we just increased the food to like 4,000 calories not too long ago. And um, last night, for whatever reason, 
At four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I just started puking and puking and uh, I couldn't stop. Like there was nothing that I could do. I took gravel, I took everything you could think of um, to try to calm my stomach down and it wasn't working to the point that like my voice is so messed up today because of um, all the puking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assess the fucking damage on this scale right now and it's been about a week since I've checked in with you guys. I just got shorts and a t-shirt on so nothing crazy here. That, yeah, okay. So that's expected. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that. 200, 240 pounds. Um, to be honest, like that's kind of exactly what I was expecting. I, I probably threw up at least two pounds, three pounds, maybe even four pounds of food. The highest weight we've had in the morning so far is 246. That was yesterday, and then, yeah, I mean, shit just hits the fan, so I'll never stop hyping this up. It's the intelligent volume and styling, like, texture. Let me just switch hands here. And, like, this, the, just like a powder. But I swear to God, like, no matter how long your hair is, or how much you sweat, I mean, don't get it in your fucking eyes, but it, like, styles it. Let me get the fucking light over here. It styles it so well to the point that like you can touch it, you can still move it. It's not like hairspray where it just like stays there forever. We added in uh, Diana Ball last video and um, maybe that, like, I mean, I don't think that's causing the nauseousness. The Anadrol was definitely causing the nauseousness. So then we dropped the Anadrol. We didn't run any orals for like two or three weeks. And then we added in the D ball, but I mean, aside from all that, this video at the end, I'm gonna be getting into every side effect I've been through on this cycle so far. Yeah, I pumped this up every cycle. We are one week away from week number eight. So I wanna just go over everything that I've experienced over the last eight weeks of taking more drugs than I've ever taken in my entire life. Because you guys know next week we're adding in Tren, we're adding in EQ, we're adding in two different esters of tests. Like we're basically changing the entire cycle, which I think it's it's a perfect time to because we're kind of like stuck at this like 243 to 245 range. We're really having issues like breaking into the 250s. So my body composition is changing a lot at the 240 pound. I feel I'm tighter, but I mean, that could have just been because I threw up my life yesterday. But I know we're moving in the right direction, especially for strength and size. And I'm sure you guys are moving in the right direction as well. So I just want to recap all that. I was about to order food on Uber Eats for breakfast, like pancakes and like something really dirty. But given the fact that I've been puking so much, it might be because I've just been eating so much fast food. I've been snacking on those chips. I've been having sandwiches. I've been having those burrito bowls. I've been having chips and queso. So honestly, we're gonna like clean shit up a little bit. We're still gonna have the hamburger helper, the KD. We have to do that in order to get the calories down. But for breakfast, I'm gonna make the regular six eggs, 100 grams of egg whites, 80 to 100 grams of oats, brown sugar, blueberries, and that's gonna be fucking it. So I'm gonna cook all this shit up and I'll just see you um, to kind of go over what the plan is for the next few hours because I don't wanna go to the gym right away. I wanna like get the sickness fucking out of me first. And it doesn't really work like that, but yeah. My like back and herniated discs are fucking killing me today because like when I was like puking, ah oh, fuck, it's just been, it's been bad, but every bad thing can you can turn into a good thing, and it will. Like I'm not, I'm not dead, not yet. Anyways, we're gonna make something happen today. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna watch some Instagrams, some TikToks, try to get more content ideas because <clears throat> we are still blowing up on short form. Like I, I can't believe the amount of views that we are pulling on. <clears throat> pulling on Instagram right now. I would say I'm, other than Sam Sulak and maybe the Trend Twins, I'm pulling more view, I'm point, I'm pulling more view, 
I am pulling more views on my shorts and reels than almost any other creator right now. Like consistently, consistently every fucking video is 500,000 to like 4 million. And then we got the odd, odd ones that are 30 million, 13 million, 8 million. We have this shit on lock right now. I like to put my hood up in the gym so no one can see what I'm looking at. Now, so just need to figure out how to fucking break this YouTube algo and we'll be golden. So let's keep killing it. Lock it in, baby. Lock it in. So glad to see you back here. I basically wanted to break down all the pros, the mental, the physical, all the side effects of the first eight weeks of that cycle. Now I'll pop the cycle up here and mind you, the last two weeks during all this stomach ulcer stuff, I did scale back quite a bit because I did not want to start test, test probe, trend, EQ, GW, YK, HGH, MK, Kaber, and some type of oral and insulin when I was only able to work out like 20 minutes a day and anytime I ate food, I would throw up stomach acid. That's basically how it worked. Like I would not throw up the actual food. So you'll see in the next video, I haven't lost that much progress from that first little eight week stretch. But anytime I would eat, I would would throw up this like yellow yellow bile and anytime I would try to train hard I would throw up that yellow bile like it was so unbearable if I drank caffeine I would throw up the yellow bile if I drank plain water I would throw up like it was so hard to deal with and you guys look like, oh stomach ulcers caused from steroids no it's not if you actually do your research or talk to any single person Pain meds, which I was obviously addicted to oxys for fucking months, like two, three years ago. Tylenol, when I herniated the discs in my back about eight months ago, I got off the pain meds for good. Like I just cut them. They're obviously not a good habit, but I, then I started abusing Tylenol to just get through the days. And then the doctors prescribed me naproxen for like the last six years, which is an anti-inflammatory, which drastically reduces the pain in my back plus all the stress from the lawsuit and this Airbnb shit that's still going on and just the extra stress guys like I feel like I stay pretty open on this channel because I want you guys to show that my life can be just yet <clears throat> can be just as fucking shit as anyone else's like I don't want this just to be a highlight reel of being like oh this I'm fucking great because a lot of these fucking weeks are hard man like my life is not fucking great right now, but it's just pushing through and just making making what you can of it. And that's what fucking life is. So obviously that's the steroid cycle that I did up to this point. It was very, very strength based. As you guys know, I do kind of want to start dabbling into powerlifting again. And the extra water retention in my discs help reduce that sciatic nerve pain. As you guys know, your spine has like little fluid columns, slivivinal fluid. All your joints have slivivinal fluid, your elbows, your shoulders. And as much as I want to start packing on size, which obviously testosterone is going to be the base for that. The DECA is obviously going to help as well. But that is also going to help me feel good, which means I can train harder. And training harder means you're going to break down more muscle tissue. And as long as you feed that muscle tissue, you will grow as well. So this little starting phase was really a feel good cycle. Now I want to break down the pros. So the pros with the MK, with the DECA, it was very high in water retention. Now I never had an aching shoulder pain, an aching elbow pain, knee pain. You could honestly tell me to go run four miles on this cycle and I would come back and be like, fuck yeah, my joints are fucking perfect. Because obviously the more water you're gonna hold, the better you're gonna feel. So that's definitely one of the pros. The overall roundness. Now just because we were started off the calories so low and we've been increasing them every single like two-ish weeks, I didn't gain a ton of body fat, but because I held the extra water and DECA is kind of known for giving you a little bit more bloat, 
I kept my carbs in check, so that bloat just gave me like a very round Dennis James look. Now, I'm not even fucking close to Dennis James size. No one in really history is. Um, but I felt looking at the gym, and I probably am fucking delusional, but I felt like round like that, and it, it made me feel really good. Energy. Obviously, I started this cycle in Canada. We only get like six hours of fucking daylight here. It was like negative 20 most of the days. I do think like seasonal depression exists because you get up and in four hours, five hours, it's fucking pitch dark, it's freezing, takes so long to do everything. But I did notice a massive ramp up of my energy. And especially you guys know, I started the cycle from coming off everything. I was 100% natural for 11 weeks before starting that cycle. The MK and the growth hormone drastically increased my sleep. Um, I was sleeping like a fucking baby every single night and obviously I was waking up feeling rejuvenated instead of waking up and being like, oh my God, I'm so t I just got eight hours sleep but I feel so shitty. So I just felt like I could start each day with a lot more like confidence, a lot more oomph and um, the last thing was my overall recovery. I can increase my training frequency and the best part for us guys is we love the gym. The gym is like what makes us happy. So me being able to increase my training frequency means I could train longer, I could train more frequently. I haven't really, well, up until this ulcer, but like I wasn't really taking a rest day. I would put arms on a rest day just so I could get to the gym, get a fucking pump, and, and especially because of so many other shitty things in my life right now, the gym is like kind of what was bringing me back to like being sane and like having to give up the gym almost for like the last two weeks was unbearable. Um, so it feels good to like start getting back into this routine. And uh, we already started that second half of the cycle, like full fucking tilt a couple days ago. So I'm excited to see the progress we're going to have from that. Now, um, into the cons or the side effects. Now, I broke these into mental and physical because I feel those are, are two completely separate things. Now, we're going to start with the mental. These are kind of pros and cons. Um, I felt stronger immediately. And the minute you feel stronger, you have like a little bit of that kind of like ego back. Um, nothing compared to trend. I expect this trend to kind of fucking make me a psychopath again. But like I went into the gym. I was pressing like 165s for 12 reps with no problem. I was benching 405 for 10 reps with no fucking problems whatsoever. And, and I just felt like I was the man because I, I went from being so like, um, this doesn't feel good to being like everything I did just clicked. There wasn't anything I could do in the gym that did didn't click. Um, the only issue with that is I did start going way too hard. I, I went and did that 765 deadlift and um, I kind of fucked my back up again. I haven't deadlifted or squatted since that 765 because I kind of pinched that nerve and, and it's been really hard to get back. It's not as bad as before. Um, but I, I pushed it too hard. And that's what happens when you are on such aggressive cycles like this is you, you, you can take it too far and my personality will always take it too far. Um, so when I heal this up, we are trying to do a meet at the end of April. So I'm going to need to just be smarter going into that, knowing that like, okay, max out the day of the meet because you will beat everybody regardless. Don't fuck it up in the gym beforehand. And if you guys are prepping for something, shows, competitions, you kind of have to think like that as well. Um, bigger, obviously I'm bigger, rounder, stronger, um, but my cardiovascular system definitely took a hit on this cycle. It was uh, doing any type of high intensity cardio, um, even like sex, I'm fucking I'm out of breath. One, I'm pushing to a weight and I was heavier than I was ever been in my entire life on this cycle. And uh, even trying to do the Stairmaster, breathing, everything in my body feels like it's it's compacted right now um, because I'm bigger than I have ever fucking been. So definitely if I was going to redo this first eight weeks, I would probably emphasize more in high intensity 
uh, interval training just so I could train my cardiovascular system as well because right now it's not really about burning fat. I don't care if I put on extra body fat, but I feel like my cardiovascular system would like <clears throat> would be happy if I did something along those lines, maybe even just two times a week. Um, my irritation is through the roof. I like, especially from this before, I, I don't know what it is about steroids, um, but I feel like I have decent common sense. I know I'm not the fucking main character. I don't have main character syndrome. If anything, I have the opposite of main character syndrome. I think that people are just so in their own fucking lives that like they can't see that other people are also going through probably similar shit to they are and they think they're so much more important than everyone and uh, it pisses me the fuck off, man. It really, really does. Um, people just irritate the fuck out of me and I don't have much more to say than that. It just, I sit there and shut the fuck up and listen, but trust me, bro, you're not special. Like I'm not special, you're not special, but we are special in our own life. That's what you have to fucking remember is that you can wake up every day and make yourself feel special. You are a special person. Your life matters, but just know that a lot of other people are going through the same thing and their life also matters. You know, like you're not better than anyone. No one really gives a fuck that much. They care about their own life. Um, this, I don't know if it's a pro or a con, but my sex drive is fucking absurd. I don't know who the fuck has ever talked about Deca Dick. But I was on top of my Kaber, and I know that Kaber is a fucking extreme like sex drive drug. If you can get your progestion and prolactin down, you want to just bone like a dog. I could not go more than six, seven hours without like ne like needing something. Like you know the Wolf of Wall Street when you got to get those fucking rookie numbers up. I swear to God, I needed post nut clarity three, four times a day just in order to like function in my day to day life or I would like sit there in an uncomfortable state. Now obviously I never ran a thousand milligrams of test before so maybe it was the testosterone going that crazy. I've never really taken DECA before but something about that previous mix was was, I can't even fucking explain it. Now, the physical. Obviously, you guys know I'm prone to acne. <clears throat> that is why I started my own acne attack skincare line. We have been tripling numbers in sales for the last two months. It took off for some reason. Like this is three years into launch. We haven't even run ad campaigns yet and we are tripling numbers each month to the point that I just ordered 12,000 more bars. So we are total at 26,000 bars that we would have bought in inventory and um, they're selling like crazy. It's a combination of black charcoal, deep sea mud, but the biggest things that I had to do to this is I removed the lemon extract. Usually there's little grains in black charcoal soap that exfoliates your skin, but my skin is too sensitive to exfoliate twice a day. I like to use this all over my body. I like to use this on my face. I put it on a loofah and it was too coarse and the black charcoal was drying out my skin too much. So with removing the lemon extract, it created a softness that I could use every single day, two, three times a day. And then we added coconut oil and organic shea butter to actually leave your skin feeling soft. The black charcoal, if you guys know, I also have the whitening for your teeth and that's why my teeth are so white. It is also on the website. But those two things will make sure that your skin isn't like peeling and cracking in the winter and you can actually leave the bathroom being like, okay, after you use a good moisturizer, my face feels good. But even if you don't use a moisturizer, coconut oil and the shea butter will kind of like leave it feeling dry, but not to the point you want to rip your face off. So this obviously helped, but because of the hormone inflection at the beginning, I did get a lot of acne in the crevice of my back. This makes it pretty much that I don't get any acne on my face anymore, but because I sweat so much in that column of, column of my back, it was just inevitable and uh, any time that you do steroids, it's going to happen. And I do every single day injections. I can't do anything other than at least every other day or I will get welts on my shoulders. 
it's just the genetics that I have. Swollen ankles. If I were to sit for longer than two or three hours um, because the cycle was so heavy in water retention, my ankles and my wrists would absolutely swell up. The growth hormone also caused this, the nerve in my wrist to act up, so I had to drop that dose halfway through, as you guys remember. Um, so obviously, have that much water retention and that much growth hormone and that much pressure on the nerves um, wasn't ideal. That was probably the biggest physical side effect I had to deal with. Um, it was okay if I could stand up and go walk around, but sometimes when I was locked the fuck in, editing videos, doing client plans, or anything like that, um, I would wake up and it would almost hurt to walk on my ankles as they were so swollen. Running out of injection sites, obviously the dosages I was taking was quite a lot, so I was injecting every day, and even injecting every day, I was doing about one and a half to two cc's, um, so I was doing shoulders, shoulders, lats, lats, glutes, glutes, rear delt, rear delt, and the occasional bicep shot, um, and I would just notice that I was getting so much scar tissue that even four days later, injecting the same spot, it was just not good, so I don't have have the finances to go do like a whole bunch of grasping and deep tissue massages right now um, so definitely that dosage was was very very difficult to get as many injection sites as I needed in and obviously my hunger now you guys know I talked about the abscess 30 times in this video <clears throat> I talked about the ulcer 30 times in this video um, I do think that obviously the orals didn't help the ulcer. It definitely kick-started it into the vomiting. But you guys know I started on Anadrol and immediately after the Anadrol, that's when I started to get hella nauseous and uh, just pushing this much food back was, was really, really hard. And um, I'm excited to see what is gonna happen now that the antibiotics are basically fully kicked in. I'm back to about 36, 3,500 hundred calories every day I'm back to training two to three hours a day and we are back to a hundred percent we're back to like 80 82 percent health so um I'm excited to hit the second phase I know that I have let you guys down way too many fucking times with things that I said I'm gonna do and then something happens now I'm not playing victim. I had a fucking extreme injury that I fight through every single day and it says something that I'm still on this channel fucking busting my ass to make this shit happen. But I said that I was going to hit 260 pounds. I'm five foot six, five foot seven, um, and I'm going to hit it. I'm not going to fucking stop and uh, then we'll do a little cut for this powerlifting competition and uh, we'll see what we can do. But the goal right now is still to hit 260 pounds and we're gonna do whatever it fucking takes to get there. So that's what the plan is. That's where the fuck I've been. I wanna thank you guys so much for everything. When we do get the comment shit figured out, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with the Intelligent Shop Cologne. So make sure you hit those post notifications when YouTube and we can all figure out why they're just permanently disabling our comments. I'm gonna throw that giveaway in the bottom. And thank you guys to everyone that uses my code for Roid Rage Smelling Salts, which is also my company, nextlevelsups.net. I'm a sponsored affiliate for. Code Mark will save you. That's all your research, peptides, BPC, all that stuff. Intelligent Shop and Gorilla Mind, code Mark saves you whatever the sale is or 10% off. So I just wanna thank you guys for always supporting me. I'm fucking back, baby. There ain't no stomach ulcer in the game that's gonna keep me out of here. I told you, the only way that we're fucking stopping is if somebody's digging a hole to put me six foot fucking under. So we are getting a 260. We're doing whatever it fucking takes to get there. And uh, we have all the resources to do it now. So let's get into this shit. New videos Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays. Nothing holding us back unless I end up in the hospital or dead. But other than that, let's get it, guys.